let me quickly review those two trades and the way I analyzed price um, using the stat map as well. So first let's go on the one hourly, remove all drawings. We were actually trading within the range of these relatively equal highs and those relatively equal lows. We've also had one additional load on there. Additionally, um, we closed below this hourly busy and we created a new SIBI. SIBI means sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, which basically means it's a bearish fair value gap. Um, so let's go on the 15 minute. Let's see, let's review what I saw this morning first. So I saw, okay, we took some liquidity below the daily manipulation level and I went long within here, within that 15 minute unicorn setup, break a block with PC. So I went long in there, but then I saw us, okay, we took some liquidity pools already. We've had equal highs down there. Additionally, we've had that hourly fair value gap. So I was already, okay, this might turn on us. This might not continue higher. So I moved my stop around my entry, which ended up being small loss. And I saw, okay, what is the four hourly candle doing? The four hourly candle in the morning on NQ starts at 2 a.m. It continues until 6. It was interesting because we were above the four hourly manipulation level. Quick summary of, the, of what that means. Basically, the average, the historically average four hourly candle starting at 2 makes, if it's bearish, the high of the candle around this opening price. That's the manipulation. And a bearish candle makes the low of the candle around this distribution level. So we saw, okay, I have had slightly bearish bias. So I'm looking at bearish candles. So my focus is on the minus manipulation to minus distribution. I saw, okay, we are above this level. We've taken out some liquidity already. So now I'm waiting for some confirmation. I want to see price dropping lower. Ideally, I want to see an hourly close for that. Let me quick, quickly turn off the turn on the higher time frame power of three using hourly candles. Make this one small like this and turn all of these settings off. So I wanted to see, okay, how does the hourly candle closes? And we've got a nice rejection. And we closed with a larger wick than a body. Additionally, we also had formed a breaker within this price leg, which is that down closed candle before the, the move up to take that liquidity. So this is our breaker. And I waited for this candle to close. So I ended around 4, 5, um, 4 a.m. and 5 minutes. So this was my entry, my stop was around this high and price showed nice rejection lower. I took the first partial on this liquidity pool matching with that bullish four hourly manipulation level. So I already took some of my position off down there. Um, but again, we have these equal lows down there and that's, that was my final target. So I continued holding my position also continue to take partials and then a new four hourly candle starts because again the previous one was from two to six and now at six a new four hourly candle starts again if this is a bearish candle the high of the candle is statistically around this level the if it was a bullish candle the low of the candle would be around this level so we see Okay, we still, even if this, this candle was bullish, we still have some room to go lower to reach for that liquidity pool. Um, and let's see what happened. Price started chopping around. 
and then traded higher and this was quite interesting because we have, an e we have a swing higher here, a 5 minute swing high and additionally we have a 5 minute swing high here. Both of these are in close proximity to this 4 hourly manipulation level. So I'm waiting, okay, what is price doing? And we ended up, after opening a new hourly candle, we ended up taking these swing highs. And now again, I'm waiting for some confirmation. We took out this high once more and then rejected lower. And I took another position. I think it was actually, I was waiting for the 15 minute candle to close. That 15 minute candle closed right there. Okay, I saw we have this bearish favor league up here. So my second position was right there with the stop being around here. And again, continuing to hold this trade lower. This was also um, a quarter of the size I took for this trade. And we traded into that hourly, uh, in, into that one minute um, for value gap, rejected lower. And once again, took profits around the opening price. That's always one of my draws in liquidity, which means I took partials around this level. And from there, price continued trading lower, or actually we traced, and now this is where we are right now. And I'm just waiting until we either won my stop or won my take profit. Um, and I will update you later on this. Okay, and we have been stopped out. Um, yeah, these were my trades today. And if you have any questions, please let me know.